Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first narrated video, so don't flame me. I hope everything goes well. I haven't really been that creative in the last six months. Started a lot of projects and didn't finish them though. But I found this new tool uh, the day before yesterday called Monster Mesh and I really love it. The program turns your sketches and your doodles into 3D models. So basically you just whip out your pen display and maybe even a mouse and draw some bubbles here. Suck. Suck. Real fast. And now with the click of a button they turn into a 3D model. <laughs> this looks really good. This looks uneven, natural, just like you've drawn it. And every drop of water or water bubble is already individual. The coolest thing is the dev actually implemented an OBJ export function. So it's not just for playing around, but you can reuse these assets in your Blender or 3ds Max. You just go over here. Click the export function and it's downloaded to your download folder. File, import, object, scroll down, use object, download. Et voila, there it is in your blender. And just like that, you could draw one object after another from your illustration or you just trace it one by one. Or you just doodle around and just combine a few shapes with each other like I did here. I guess the dev named it Monster Mesh because you could create these uh, little creatures. Very simple and very easy. You can also create a kind of mirrored object. For that you just draw your animal or whatever. And then double click the limbs. And these get mirrored on both sides of the model. That is mainly useful for the built-in animation tools, but if you want to use it for sculpting as a base mesh, you can do that in every program, of course. Let's export this again and import in Blender and just give it some colors real quick. And that way we already got these little, yeah, simple, but cute animals uh, in our Blender. I think this would be useful for any kind of kids illustration, maybe even make a book with it, um, but also for graphics design, creating quick shapes with it. The tool is advertised as an animation tool, but I think as a modeling tool it has even more potential. From this point on then, I got into the flow and created a small scene. Think of it as a miniature scene or clay miniatures, something like that. Enjoy the process and we'll see us in a few minutes. Hey, yeah, I just needed a haircut, like maybe like a like a little bit off the top, like a trim. Yeah, I could give you a haircut. Yeah. I'm a big off barber. No, no, just like a trim. Yeah. Just a little bit off the top. Yeah, I know what the off I'm doing. Just sit down in the chair. Well, okay, but, you know, I just want like a little bit off the sides, like a trim. Yeah, I'll cut you real nice. Yeah, okay. Ah, my head. You want a magic mode flow go carved in your throat? Ah, my hand slip. Now you look just like Bobito. It's not me, bro. These scissors are messed up. What's this shut? Bell. You'll screech when I reach for my razor from hell. It's bloody and old. It's got a mold on the 
get to know my clients. The most important quality of being a barber is my ability to remember details about each customer. Oh, hey, watch that birthmark. Ow! Jesus Christ! I told you to hold still. Jesus Christ, you a barber or a butcher? I'm bleeding like a stuck pig here. Yeah. Like a stuck barber, I'm a butcher, pig barber. When the clip was touching my head, they blew the whole thing. Catch my crack on your dog, then at the range, they up the barber. Straight up, then you hear cooking, smoke up, smoke up. Yeah. Magic Moose, a deranged fake open barber. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. I'll leave you with Omar Rep's Gumby head. Now I can't pass Saint Jack Way. Nah, 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 y'all know. I'll make you look like Lyle Lovett and you'll love it. Pat Riley oil spills. Nah, 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 yo. I'll leave you with a buzz, all to buzz cut. Hook you up like Daba from Coach Kid. My head, yo. Leave you with a Motley Crew mop. Nah, a Motley nah. Crew mop. Yeah. What about them kids with sides? Nah, nah. And that is my little scene. Took me longer than I expected because I forgot already so much in Blender. But it worked out pretty nice, exactly like I wanted to. Added a little snails, some funny crabs. I used super simple shaders, almost the same shader for everything. The sand is scaled up so it fits together with the rest of the scene detail. Yeah, everything looks uneven, clay-like especially the crabs and and it was pretty easy and fun and I think I will make more illustrations like this. The crabs as you've already seen I've drew them in a 2D style. I also wanted to try this out because uh, then you just rotate them against the camera a little bit and from the camera they look uh, great again. There are three ways to draw these animals. One is from the side or from the top. But you can also use this 2D approach I just showed you. Import your illustration here and then just trace the objects and turn them into 3D one after another. Pretty cool tool. I really love it. I hope the, the developer will make a really good version with more vector tools where we can draw, erase or combine strokes, stuff like that and of course undo. I will buy it in a heartbeat. I'll put a link to the tool and the developer's YouTube into the description. There you can check out his uh, other videos which explain it everything in detail and have fun creating, have fun drawing, have fun modeling and please like and subscribe. And we'll see us in the next video, I guess.